my dad was Air Force, so he did not make a huge amount of money, but was really good about investing and putting away. And we always joke that my dad is the cheapest cheapskate on the planet. That's me. <laughs> so, I'm the cheapest. So, okay. how, so like, how cheap is he? Like, what is the cheapest? I'm talking about like, girls, we're going out to dinner and we're talking about it's happy hour and this is dinner. <laughs> Go ahead. I love it. I can make like three meals out of a buffet at a hotel uh, yeah. to the point where my husband is like, it's all you can eat, not all you can take. <laughs> really, please don't do that. I'm actually in shock about that. I had no idea. I feel like it's a little known fact. Is that yeah. your first job, when you got out of college, it wasn't in journalism nope. or television. No. Nope. You worked for Chemical Bank. Chemical now Bank. Chase. What did Geo you do? GeoServe. Chemical Bank came, came to my college at Rutgers, recruited me uh, because I speak Spanish, Portuguese, and was a journalism major writer. So I, I kind of went into the job thinking, well, if this gives me a greater appreciation and understanding of finance, then I'm getting sort of a paid for MBA out of this, which is what it ended up being. It was an incredible eye-opening education in money. At that point, I felt like I really understood why it was so important to know mm -hmm. about money and investing in the marketplace because I think that's truly the only way to see your money grow is to invest it. And doing it early. Early. The earlier you Absolutely. can find out. So it's a huge advantage finding out right after college. Uh, so rumor has it that you're a little bit of a day trader. Yes. True? Yes. On my way here, I just bought a stock. <laughs> no, I am, you know, because I, yes, I, I like to follow the market. It's my safe way of gambling, but it's not gambling because it's a little bit safer. I play it safe and I, I do my research and I look up the things that I know and I want to invest in and I follow it for a while and I'm like, is now the time to get in? Yeah, yeah. you also have a husband who has an MBA. He's an investor, so we talk a lot about the things that we are interested in investing, which is great because he understands, like he's the guy who can actually read the balance sheet and tell me, now's not the time to be buying this stock. But then I'm one of those people that by gut, I buy a little bit probably more hastily than he would. So I've made some better trades than he has. So I have a better record. You know, I bought Apple when back when it was, you know, I think 80, trading at $82, nice. like back yeah. before it split three ways, so then, yeah, I mean, that and Amazon, I've bought a couple of shares, which I could never really truly afford a lot of shares in anything. So I buy like 30 shares of something, but it just, it makes it fun and it allows me to sort of follow the market and see, I consider it sort of like my, my fun money, mm -hmm. uh, but yet it's also giving me a good rate of return. In your relationship with your husband, do you guys put all your money together? Do you keep stuff separate? You must have something going separate because you're keeping track of I who's do. doing so I have, better. I mean, I have my own trading account that's separate. And of course, my own 401k through work, all of that is separate, although he's a beneficiary, obviously. But we have our joint checking savings accounts so but I do believe that women should have their own money put aside and have your own account for the God forbid who knows what happens down the road so we're gonna take a little walk down money memory lane okay if you can come with me I love this uh, I want to know in terms of what you know about money who did you learn more from your mother or your father my dad my dad is a stock market geek like every day trades and checks his portfolio he has to, it, he follows it by the minute and was he doing that when you were a kid he was he used to have like little scraps of paper with his stocks and like how they were doing for the day and I guess that was my early on fascination but not really understanding I really had no idea what the ticker symbols meant or what it was all about and this is like back when they were in the newspaper. This I'm was assuming, right? Through flipping through the paper. There was no Yahoo Finance to keep us all, you know, knowing what's going on minute to minute, second to second. I love so that you, you actually had an upbringing knowing about the stock market. Yes. What about just like money habits in terms of like saving or spending? My parents were really good. The idea of saving was ingrained in me at an early age and knowing that I had to invest in my future. Did you get an allowance as a kid? I did, and I don't know how I feel about this now as a parent. My parents actually gave me money for my grades. 
Oh, wow. Yes. So for every A, I got 20 bucks back then, which then would be my school shopping for the year. So I got a lot of straight A's. So if you were an A student. <laughs> I was an A student because like I was motivated. Five subjects. Yeah. You were pocketing $100? Like $100, $120, I think six or seven subjects, depending on, yeah, what grade I was in. Did so. you get paid for like an A in art or PE or just academic Anything. Subjects? If I got straight A's, it was like 140 bucks. I was like, okay. <laughs> I love it. All right, so that's good motivation. I, I think so. As a parent now, I think you want your kids to be motivated because they want to get the good grades. But I will say it did help, and it also was great for my back to school shopping. But your dad, he was in um, the, Air, the Force. Air Force. So you were 25 years career wow. Air Force yeah. overseas. You're traveling. Overseas. You're meeting Panama, different places. Brazil, Spain. I was born in Taiwan, so. Yeah. So what happens exactly with the tooth fairy? Does the tooth fairy <laughs> leave money in a local currency or in dollars? I think the tooth fairy didn't visit me uh, for a very long time. <laughs> I don't know if she couldn't find me. <laughs> Maybe it was because you had a grade fairy. Maybe it was the cheapskate fairy. fairy. <laughs> I think it was the cheapskate tooth fairy who kind of, yeah, I think she uh, robbed me. <laughs> okay, we have a little speed round here okay, for you. Love okay, love it. You ready? Uh-huh. Um, saver or spender? In the middle. I'm, I, I spend uh, on things that I love, but I economize and I only buy things on sale. Impulse buyer or agonizer? Impulse buyer. Check or Venmo? Venmo. Love it. My favorite. Keep the penny or get rid of it? Keep it. Good luck. If you could design a new $1 bill, who would you put on it? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. What do you feel good about spending money? things that last, like memories and travel. The biggest money mistake that you made that you kind of still regret. I wish I had bought my first apartment in Hoboken way back when. I could have made a fortune. That's so, <laughs> the most important thing that someone taught you about money. I think it's my dad who, you know, it's, it's be wise with it and also know that it's there for your enjoyment. You're not going to take it to the grave. If um, someone is just starting a job right now and getting their first big paycheck, your best advice Invest to in them. your 401k right away. And if you have school debt, pay back your school debt. And don't buy as many lattes, you know? Any idea how much cash you have in your wallet right now? 47 bucks, something Can around that? Can we see? Let's oh see. I'm oh a heavy gosh, wallet a girl, so let's see. Do I, I probably don't even have 40. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I'm poorer than I thought. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How is that possible? Oh, I went to the farmer's market. Oh, That's where my cash went. There. Do you use Apple Pay? Do you use I your do. There need to be more vendors who take it, though. I want everyone to yeah. take it. All I want to do is I don't want to have to carry this. Me too. Just this. This is great. great. Thank Jen, you thank so you so much. much. This is okay. so fun. You were great. You have a fun job. I love that.